All right, you're gonna be surprised based on the title of this video because Kron was bought out by Notion, right? So I, I should love Kron more than I, I love Morgan, right? I don't know. I've actually met with the creator of Morgan before and gotta say the plans that they have for this application, especially because congratulations, by the way, to David and Marco, they got seed funding, which is a big deal. By the way, I just noticed that Morgan was doing a product hunt launch today. So if you could go over there and show them some love, I'm sure they'd appreciate it. There's even a mobile app beta giveaway that might pique your interest too. Review on that soon. But it's no secret, Cron's pretty dope too. From a pricing standpoint, obviously Cron is in like this free beta and Morgan has a free option, which pretty much you can be fine with free. But if you wanna have like integrations, it can be $4 a month and you'll get unlimited one-time scheduling links, multiple calendar accounts, and pretty much everything you'd possibly need. If you're in education, you get 50% off Morgan Pro. And just as a caveat, I have an affiliate structure going on with Morgan. So just understand that there. When it comes to Morgan, I mean, its calendar use is really nice. It has a lot of keyboard shortcuts. And if you look here, it has a myriad of different things that can be done just like in Cron, except Cron does have a command bar, which is kind of a big deal. If I press control K, it pops up here and you can do so many things. I can do one letter and then it'll show you like the different options for the keyboard shortcuts there. Or you can type things out like create event or new or share and it'll pop up whatever you need to. And the nice thing about both of these is that they do have a scheduling link. So if I do share availability with somebody, it allows you to share the different availability times that you have and give a scheduling link. So this would send a meeting with Rise Productive. So I could say that I'm available from like six to eight, and then this would send a Google meet with it. Or is it when it comes to the scheduling link with Morgan, you can go over here and create a scheduling link. And the cool thing is you can actually with both of these take a scheduling link. And if you click on that play right here, it's gonna show you a tutorial on how to do this. So I can actually go right here and it'll make an available slot. And then you could create a scheduling link based off this, or you can copy this as text to be like, hey, here you go, this is like when I'm available. Now, if I do create scheduling link, I can make this recurrent or I can make this a one-time link for ad hoc meetings. The convenience that can be said with this is amazing. So if I do this one-time Morgan link, I can pick what calendar it's on. I can add an attendee email. I can have buffer time for if it's a recurring link. And then I can add a little Morgan link at the end here, put a little meeting title, meet with Dimitri, have a little virtual room, create a Google Meet to go along with it, and then add different attendees if it was one time. So I can just add my personal email as an example, Dimitri, save and copy link. And then when I go and paste this in a browser, this is how someone would see it when they open it. Very similar to what Calendly looks like. Only reason that I currently don't use this instead of like TidyCal is because it doesn't have a payment option, but I think that's in the works over at Morgan. And then if you copy the scheduling link over here, you can do the exact same thing by dragging this, copying the scheduling link. So either you can click on this, copy scheduling link, copy the snippet after you create it. So all you gotta do, copy the snippet, and you can paste this into like an email or you can just the scheduling link right here. If you paste this into a browser, you'll see a lot of these applications do similar things. They're gonna have a Google Meet associated with it. They're gonna have the timeline. They're gonna have the availability. I think if you added some of the keyboard shortcut functionality and from a search bar perspective to Morgan, it would be probably the better of the two applications. But the thing about Cron is, well, you can add Google calendars to Cron. The nice thing about Morgan is that the integrations piece is just next level. I mean. You have integrations when it comes to obviously the different meeting types, but you have it with Todoist, Google Tasks, Microsoft To Do, Outlook, Tasks, Zapier, which is great because it's a webhook, and that can kind of make it much better from that perspective. You can even make links to permanent meeting rooms that you can put here, and this will just have an easy access for you to then send to people. You can base your availability off of certain calendars. And you can do a lot of really fun stuff from a task management standpoint in here, which you can't do in Cron whatsoever. If you go here and just take a task here, over here, pop it down, you'll see it pops up here. So the difference between tasks in Morgan and calendar events is that they show up as tasks. Like, And then I could obviously make something in here where I can change it to a task rather than a calendar. And you can actually pick between the different calendars that you have it on. So I can put it on Rise Productive and you'll see here when I switch it to a task right there, what happens is if I check this off, it'll stay. 
which is different than like Google tests, I mean, this basically takes what Google tests should be and just puts it in there by allowing you to like change the block. You can make recurring tests very easily in blocks. And easy way to recur stuff in here is just type in like every day or every week. And then this prompts you to like change the frequency on what days of the week, when it ends on, how many times. And from a recurring standpoint with Cron, if I create a new event here, new event, move this guy here. The repeating functionality of this is very good too. You're allowed to click through all this. So if I do every weekday or something like that, it'll go and change it. I do think that it's a little bit better from Morgan's standpoint because it has the natural language processing to it, but this application is still pretty high functioning. You can easily copy, paste, and duplicate. So if I press Control D, this duplicates it, which is something that you cannot do, I believe, on Morgan. And then if you copy this and click somewhere and paste it, it'll paste right into the slot you have, which is exactly something you can do on Morgan. And you can change the color right here and you can change the calendar that it's on right here. Something that is a little lesser known about Morgan is that if you double click or go into any of these, you can add tag color. So if I put red here, I mean, that was a, that's, that's not how I wanted to do it. I wanted to make the color, but yeah, I put in a tag color and then, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty funny. But yeah, now if I do a certain color here, change the category color to make that, well, I'm very colorblind, so let's pretend that that's pink, I think. And you can even put the hex code in here. So while each calendar has its own color. You can also make different tags for each things too. Both of these are honestly really good and can do a lot of the same keyboard shortcuts and stuff. So I don't want to get too deep into what they can do. But what I do know is that Cron can't do task management. I don't know if they have an outlook for receiving payments from scheduling links. They were bought by a company, so maybe their app won't exist. Or they could have massive improvements because Notion bought their app and they love their app. And it'll have the best Google Calendar Sync option ever that includes Notion. But also, Morgan keeps making massive improvements. They have a mobile app, which I'm going to make a video on. David's doing great stuff over there. And there is a reason that I use Morgan. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And let me know your thoughts on this video on how to improve your productivity even more.